Welcome back to Skydog Reviews. Um, got some more hats. Uh, what a shock that is. I know if you see my other videos, uh, got quite a few, but you know, it's, it's kind of a mild of addiction uh, with me. So, of course, we have more. Um, I was going to get this out uh, a couple weeks ago, but some of the hats I did order on Black Friday and they came in uh, just before I left on my cruise. So, I do have a short out there about the hats I did bring on my cruise. I'll link it in the description. Uh, I'm going to have some of those here that I'll review. I've had them out and about before a chance to review them. Uh, so uh, let's begin. Uh, once again, uh, no one's paying me for this review. Uh, no one has shipped me any free product. Um, so it's, uh, it's an honest review. Uh, I'm not going to tell you... Uh, whether I love or hate something, unless I really do, and so far with Watson Scala, then you know they, you know, hit the mark all the way across the board. Uh, I love the hats; uh, still wear one every time I go out of the house or I'm going on a cruise or whatever. So, um, great hats, uh, and I just want to get a review out there for those who just want to see the different hats on someone's head. Um, I have found those reviews helpful, and I'm hoping that you find this review helpful for you. Um, so that being said, let's get into uh, the pricing. Um, that's a big question that uh, a lot of folks have. You know, they you know, seem kind of expensive. You know, they aren't they aren't cheap, but they're they're quality. You're you're getting what you pay for. But uh, as far as deals and discounts, um, as we entered into the holiday season just prior to Thanksgiving, they had a pre-holiday sale at fifteen percent. That was right on their uh, website. Uh, Black Friday through Cyber Week, starting Cyber Monday, they were at 20%. And I think right now uh, we're in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. They're at a 15% holiday sale. Uh, again, that code is right on their website. Um, but if you want to come back and review this, the, the Black Friday deal and the Cyber Monday deal is the best I've seen them advertise on the website at 20% off. That being said, um, I waited around to see what the Black Friday deal was going to be in a 20%. So I went on the website and put the hats in the basket that I wanted to order. And again, my favorite way, and I think the best discount you can get, depending on the number of hats you buy, is to go with their uh, pick three, $25 off, and then use the free shipping code that you get on your receipt. Um, you know, so if you've already ordered hats, right in the uh, middle of your receipt, there is a free shipping discount code. Um, other than my first order of I've, I've used bought hats in that method, and it's the best deal going. So for instance, on Black Friday, I, I had three hats that I know I wanted. Um, you know, I was getting ready for my cruise and I, I wanted to add them uh, into my collection and bring them on board. Uh, so I put them in the cart with the 20%. But again, you can't stack coupon codes. So you can't add the 20% code and the free shipping. It's either or. So obviously the 20% gave me the better deal out of that. But once I cleared my cart, went back in and added in the same three hats. And then you get the automatic $25 off, then you put your free shipping code in. It's a better deal. Um, and I looked at like between free hats and free shipping at 20%. Um, and depending what hat you get, I mean like shipping for me is around just under nine. It's like 879, 889 um, shipping or a box to my house. In Texas and you got to weigh that out you know what, what hat price you're buying what the 20 percent is going to be um, so of one hat I want you to get I think once you get to two the 20 percent is better than the free shipping uh, depending on the hats you buy an expensive hat I believe you can exceed it with one but you're still paying shipping so you still you still got nine dollars on there um, so if you're willing to get three the best deal going is to pick three $25 off and the free shipping. Uh, I didn't go more. I think I put a fourth hat in there, it's 20% off, and it was still going to be a better deal 
even though I don't get any further discount by putting a fourth hat, I think even with $25 and the $8, there was still, you'd have to go up with them. If you're going to order five or six, the 20% eventually is going to get you exceeding uh, what you would have saved if that 20% code uh, versus the uh, $25 off in free shipping. But I, I didn't go that far into it. Um, I don't need any more hats, but of course, I have three more on the way. So, um, <laughs> There'll be another video on the series, obviously. Uh, that being said, on Black Friday, they did offer a free gift if you ordered early enough. And I ordered early enough. And so if my uh, Black Friday order, um, I did receive a free winter scarf from the Boston Scally Co. I think they were doing this in a hat hanger. So you got this nice winter scarf. Put it on. It's got the Boston Scally logo. You know, goes great with the pub hat, you know, for those cold days. But uh, I normally wear like a Bruins scarf or uh, something similar, a hockey team scarf on those cold days. And they, they work really good. Uh, I was never a scarf fan as a child when I lived in New England. Uh, but thank you, Boston Scally, for my free gift. Uh, and that's about it. So uh, let's go what everybody's here to see. Hopefully, uh, let's go to the reviews. Uh, first hat I'm going to bring out is a style that I do not own. Uh, I, I don't necessarily, I, you know, I prefer the look of the one panels and eight panels and really love the five panel, but I never had a lot of love with the six panel. Just, it looks more baseball hat-ish. It's not as, as stylish just from what I was seeing online. So, but they had one that I really liked. It was in a color that went well with some shirts I was going to be wearing uh, on the cruise. And it's in a, a fabric that I, I know I love because I already have uh, some captains in the eight panel. So I went ahead and picked up the Sailor. And it's got a little uh, nautical uh, compass. Uh, sewn in on the back so you get a little extra call out there um but it's uh this hat is the sailor it's a six panel so you get three panels on here three panels there total of six it has its own artwork similar to the captain and the um the keeper you know very same uh style as far as materials goes i did try this in the double x it probably you know, my size chart had my hat size right at the back end of XL, just kind of like the single panels. Um, but I found that with the lighter fabric sometimes, and they say this on their website, the, the lighter fabrics tend to run a little smaller than the winter fabrics. So, and this is kind of an in-between fabric, so I went with the double X. And I'm glad I did. I think it fits very well. And if it's ever a little tight, uh, I bought some from on Amazon. You can buy those little hat fitters that just slide into the band. Um, didn't need them. So I'm very happy I went with the 2X. If I was getting a winter one, it might get a little big. So I might need a, a hat band there. But so far, I've been very happy with the fit of my six panel. So we'll take off the pub. This is not new. This has already been reviewed. And we'll put on the six panel. Yeah, man, just a beautiful hat. I'm going to say that about all of them. I know I love all my hats. I haven't found one I disliked. Um, as you can see, you know, it's a little different style than your, your obviously the single panel and a little different style than the eight panels and five panels. But especially in this fabric, man, it just, it really still has that, you know, the, the nice scally cap look, a little bit more of a, baseball cap-ish um, type look, which is why I kind of shied away from it initially. But man, what a great hat. I wore this uh, several times, uh, even on the way way home. Um, I'll, I'll throw some pictures up uh, showing it in, in action or in the out in the wild here and up in the corner. Um, but a great fitting hat, wonderful hat. I love the coloring. Okay, so the coloring on the Sailor is Mariner Blue and it's made out of a cotton twill. So again, it's the same as the keeper, same as the captains. Unlike those, you get, so you get the mariner blue on the outside, 
a little bit of the gold uh, compass rose there. And you get like this sand tan in the inside. What I love about these hats is that, that contrast right there. You put it on, you get the nice contrast of the brim, especially when you go light and dark like this. You know, you the light brim, the darker color material. It, it, it's a great look. I love the way it looks. Um, and actually, I think the six panel got showed to me, um, being a Bruins fan, watching their um, 100 years of Boston Bruins hockey celebration, they brought all the old guys back, you know. Uh, but I uh, was watching some videos from that week, and Johnny Busick is wearing a Boston Scally six panel. I believe it's a Dubliner in Bruin uh, black with the gold and black shamrock in the back. And I'm like, you know, he was rocking it pretty good. I'm like, you know. The Chief's still rocking it at his age. I think I can probably bite the bullet and try one out. So very happy with this purchase, actually. In my, I have a couple more coming because um, uh, a little bit more lightweight styles in the six panels. So I got a couple of those coming. I'll get that review out once they arrive and uh, get them on my head. So Sailor, Mariner Blue, great hat. Look forward to wearing it for many years. Um... So for the rest of my sh uh, shipments, or multiple shipments, uh, are all going to be in the eight panel category. And as usual, um, I'll go from the lighter weight down to the heavier weights. And we're going to start with this. This is the Independence in Stealth Black. Um, it's listed as a lightweight cotton. Um, I reviewed its uh, brother, the uh, blue one with the white and the red. Um, as you can see, it's kind of built like the trainer, doesn't have any liner. You have the vent holes. Uh, I'm in my standard 2X. Uh, no artwork in there, so it's a very lightweight hat. Um, you do have the stripes um, on the blue independence. They're red and white, uh, mimicking the U.S. flag. And here, they're that stealth black and gray. Again, emulating the stripes from the flag. Uh, same concept. Uh, but just in a, a stealthier color, it doesn't stand out as much. It's got the button with the fabric, so it's your traditional eight panels there. Um, this is another great hat. Uh, wore this several times during my cruise, um, especially on the warmer days. You know, some of the uh, heavier hats, and I didn't mention it, but like even on the Sailor, and I'll pop it up real quick here. I sweat. I wore this onto the ship. And it was like in the 80s, and we're standing outside in line. They hadn't opened uh, security gates yet. And I sweated in this. And I, there was definitely a sweat line, in, a wet sweat line. I was like, oh, boy, man, we're going to wait to break that one in. But uh, it doesn't show. It, it, it really kind of disappeared. Uh, I was very pleased with that. Um, so this one, a little lighter weight, I, like I said, when it's warmer out, I like to wear the lighter weight ones. But, man, this is, a, you know, just like its, its brother there, the blue one. Great hat, very comfortable, eight panel, so it's a little tighter than the other white ones, but it's, like I said, it, since I kind of in between the size and go to the 2X, it's a perfect fit, um, just not as, um, like I said, and this applies pretty much everything I've worn so far. Lighter weight fabric's a little tighter, heavier wool polys get into a little looser. Not much, but there's a little bit of a difference, so if you're in between, please keep that in mind. But man, this is this is a wonderful hat. You know, it's a black scally. Black scallies are awesome, but it does have that coloring on the brim to offset it. So um, the Independence in Stealth Black, another great hat from Boston Scally. Uh, this one I've had my eye on a little bit, and I was like, I don't know if I can pull this one off. Uh, but this is the Blue House Peaky. It is an eight panel, like I said. So you got them all there, and it's definitely plaid. Uh, you know, but uh, again, this is a, it's a different fabric. Um, and what I decided to get it for, you know, if we go in, it's got, it does have a lining, even though it's a lightweight hat, um, kind of like the Uke, you know, it's got a lightweight lining, got the, uh, traditional Boston Scally artwork in there, double XL. So the Blue House Peaky is the name of the hat and it's the color is called plaid. Uh, it's the only one of its kind on the site. I, if they had more, I don't see them, but it's the Blue House Peaky. Um, so kind of a summer weight hat. Give you some profile views. Um, it's actually a nice hat, and the reason I got it um, 
it, uh, makeup of it is 65% tensile with 35% cotton. And in the description, they all said deep blue and white plaid. You know, the fish call is plaid, but it's a deep blue and white plaid. But that tensile cotton mix is, is like a fast dry, you know. Um, you know, you make shirts out of them, like Under Armour and, and stuff like that. You know, you have like a more of a fast dry. And this is the way it's listed on the website. It's a fast dry material. Um, so what I got it for was uh, when I was on the cruise, uh, going up to the pool, um, now I have this huge brimmed outdoor research hat that I bought years ago. Uh, it's probably 10, 12 years old, if not older, that when I'm out in the sun, I wear, I don't like a lot of sun. I like shade. Uh, but on the cruise ship, I find a shady spot and that hat's a little, little much, you know? So this is my like kind of going into that big hat in the passageways on the, on the ship kind of bumps into stuff. So this is my to and from and hanging out in the shade pool hat. I do have some pictures. Again, I'll put them up in there if I haven't already uh, of it out in the wild there. Um, but it's a great hat. It's lightweight. Uh, I never got it too wet, but, you know, I'd go swimming and come back. My hair was wet and everything. And it never really, like, uh, stayed wet. So, I mean, I believe what they say. It's a, it's a quick dry uh, fabric. Um, it's actually nice looking, you know. It, you, you, it looks kind of loud out of the box. But uh, depending what you wear it with, and like I said... Uh, most of my swimsuit stuff is blue and gray, you know. Um, can't really get out of those colors for some reason throughout my life. Uh, but it's just a nice hat. Um, great hat for, like I said, going out to the pool. Um, hanging out does have some shade, but not enough if you're, like I said, I have that massive outdoor research hat that, that served me well for over a decade. Um, but I liked it. Got some compliments on it. I um, mean, it's lightweight, so even when it's hot out, you know, it, it, you know, we're hanging out on the pool deck, you know, I forget where we were in uh, Roatan, Honduras or wherever. It was just, it was just a nice hat to have. And I was just sitting there sipping on some champagne and reading a book and it'd be a very nice hat to have. So the Blue House Peaky. Next one is a style I have already previously reviewed for you. Uh, just a new colorway. So what we're looking at here is the Caddy. And this is listed as Mariner Blue. Um, so this is just like the other caddies, the uh, fairway plaid and the gray. It's got the liner, it's got the standard Boston Scally logo, you know, the matching brim. But another great lightweight hat. I forgot to bring this on the cruise. I was going to, I and mean, I had like eight, nine hats, and I was like, I gotta leave something behind. And unfortunately, I, I missed it. I really wish I had, an, I forgot a navy blue hat, so. I could have used it a couple times, but all in all, this is another great hat. If you're living in Texas, it'll be down here when it's warm out and everything like that. So it's, again, a uh, cotton poly blend, just like the other caddies. Lightweight, you know, so it fits a little tighter than, than the heavier weights. But again, in, my, in 2XL, it fits my head perfectly. Really love this hat. You know, it, you know it's like... They call it a mariner blue. It's more of a navy blue, in my opinion. And you can decide for yourself. Um, it, it's very similar to the townie. I have a navy in color. But in the same box, I got another hat that I already showed you. The sailor. Mariner blue. The caddy. Mariner blue. Obviously, some mariners have some different colors, so... <laughs> So, yeah, it's probably more of a, one of those functional made-up type, more towards, like, you know, if the sailor needs to be mariner, and then with the caddy, I'll call this mariner blue. And the, obviously, the sailor is more of a royal blue, and the caddy's version of mariner blue is a little bit more of a navy. So, um, this is more true to color on the website. Uh, the uh, sailor's a little like most hats a little darker than it shows up just because with the bright lights and white boxes that take the promo photos they tend to, to look a little lighter than they do in person but man this caddy um this is gonna be a hat to worn a lot um especially in the warmer months um it's just a beautiful hat can't wait next hat on the list uh, probably one of my favorite styles uh have multiple others so this is your captain in topaz blue 
And this is a soft cotton twill, so same material as the um, as the sailor, and the same t material as the keeper in the one piece. Um, I did get the pin, so I do have another uh, Boston Scally Captain pin. Do do it in the gold. Again, more of a bronze and a bright gold as it shows up on the website. Uh, same artwork as the other captains. You get the black interior there, and you have the uh, Captain artwork 2XL. The contrasting brand in that sandy, uh, sandy brown, sandy colored material, and it is fabric. You know, gives you that nice contrast, like we've already mentioned uh, on the Sailor. I, I love that style. I love this material. It's very soft. And just another, you know, like I said, this is a little bit looser fitting than the, the previous eight panels and lighter weight. It's like more of a mid-weight. But man, just a beautiful hat. Uh, the color's a little little weird. They call it topaz blue. It's like, you know, what we used to call like a blue-green, not quite aqua. It's a very unusual color. And the website looks more like, I thought it was going to be like blue jean color almost. But it is... It kind of shifts a little bit depending what you're wearing. Now, I have some pictures from it out in the wild on the cruise ship I'll put up there um, if I haven't already. So I have some different color um, polos that are and some Columbia like fishing shirts that are like different color um, aquas and, you know, blue greens. So it, it kind of shifts a little bit, but, you, you know, it is dark enough. You know, if you're not wearing like blue, blue jeans, you're more of a faded jean, probably go good with those. Uh, but I mean, I love this hat. I, I can't say enough about the captain. Probably of all the hats, probably my, my favorite hats. Uh, I have three of them now. Um, but man, just, it's again, it's, it's a great fitting hat. It's a great looking hat. It's soft, it's comfortable. Uh, it's, you know, if I, I was forced to wear one style of uh, Boston Scally hat, it would probably be the captain, you know, because that could get me through most of the seasons. Um, probably a little too warm in the summer, maybe not warm enough in the winter, but, you know, yeah, we don't really get heavy, cold winters here in Texas, but when it does come, it's nice to have something warm. But, yeah, it's just a, it's just a beautiful hat style, and, and it's a great color. Uh, so I got multiple colors. Love the captain. And finally, uh, this hat's been reviewed by uh, at least one other person I've seen on the internet. Um, this is a little bit heavier. This is from the Distillery series, and this is called the Firewater Plaid. So if you're looking at it, it's a navy, oh, like a goldish color. So. And then with the red stripes, so it, it's like a navy blue. You got a goldish, I wouldn't call it yellow style. Looks like I said on the on the website, looks a little brighter. Maybe you can see it a little better there. Uh, both that red call out, and I did get the Boston Scally pen for it, the distillery pen for it right there. Um, but just a nice hat. Uh, so this is Firewater Plaid, as already mentioned. And is a wool poly blend, so it's heavier. It's going to fit a little looser. Um, let's see. Oh, and I almost forgot. It's got that nice full leather uh, type brim. Looks great. You know, it's actually almost the same color brown as the aficionado, like a cigar wrapper brown, leatherish color. It, it, it you know, it's a nice looking hat. Um, probably more you can wear more formally than like maybe some of the other ones, but. Man, just, uh, you know, eight panel, great fit. I mean, I, I love the Boston Scallies. These wool polys, you know, kind of think where their sweet spot is, especially for uh, like a winter hat, um, like the Peaky Series. You know, it's a little looser. It's almost, um, you know, not as loose as the Newsboy uh, hat. Very similar to like the Bruins Peaky, maybe not as tight as the uh my back was a charcoal and slate peaky um so you know kind of a combination it's got a little bit more fabric out there but another great hat um they called it a blue base with amber and red plaid and that's them from the official website so the firewater plaid is a blue base with a amber and red plaid 
but man, another great hat by Boston Scally. Looking forward to this as the temperatures go down. You know, Navy can go with an awful lot. So I'm happy. Um, all right, well, that about wraps it up. Um, so that was uh, another, what, six more hats added to the collection. Um, several of them were able to go out and about there on the cruise uh, last week. So um, looks like, uh, man, <laughs> sorry, I just love this hat. <laughs> it's a beautiful hat. But uh, anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Um, I did put a short out. Again, I'll, I'll link it in the description. Um, some of my hats I had out on the cruise. Um, and again, we have some more hats coming, so there will be further reviews. Um, at some point, I'll be putting reviews. I, I think I did some videos for the cabin and stuff like that. Um, so it won't be all Boston Scally on the channel, but for now, this is where the most of my stuff is uh, focused at. So um, thanks again for visiting Skydog Reviews. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you next time.